welcome back all of you to the part three of this uh, configurator training actually uh, we have completed part one and part two and then we are into part three now and we are in the concluding part as such now so let us go ahead and then uh, continue our activity on this one so let me go and then uh, log in now So it's 98 underscore EMP. <clears throat> so through which I'm logging in now. So let us go inside and then we'll now have a look at the configurator. <coughs> you go there and then click on the configurator, product management, and then go to the configurator models now. So here I will now open up my workspace now. 7001 workspace is available here. Now if I click on this workspace, if I click on the workspace, it will be available now. And then click again on the model. Which is now is a workflow workspace participant actually. I click on it and then you can go on and see this one side. So this configurator model will now show you the standard structure. All the option classes will be a standard structure. Apart from that, what happens is that we can even create our own supplemental structure actually. So here the desktop package is nothing but uh, what happens if you go there, it is nothing but an options feature. And then we can even have an integer feature, a decimal feature, a boolean feature, and then a text feature. So these are the five different ways of configuring supplemental structures to enable guided selling actually. So in a guided selling, what happens is we are going to help the person to choose the appropriate ones. I can even make a, what happens as a, in this one, we are now made as a what? A desktop package in which uh, we are now given three such options over here now, the regular desktop, the business desktop, the gaming desktop, and then we can go to the rules and then we can now write the rules also. When he chooses something, what happens, how the rules are going to be there. So we are into the last part of the structure. If I go there, we'll now go on and create what happens one text feature. What are the actions? I'm going to create and then let us now create a text feature. The remaining we have tested actually. I'm going to go to the text feature. So I will now say text feature <coughs> fine test. So that is the thing which I am going to give it now. I'm going to take copy it now. Click on this description, paste it over here, and go there. So the minimum, maximum length which is allowed, let us say I will now make it a six characters. And that's it, by which what happens, it gets completed. I'm going to click on OK now. So the text feature is now coming up now, I'm going to go there. So if you go there and then have a look at it now, you'll be able to see the text feature coming up in the last one. <coughs> so it's now coming up over here now. So here it will not have any, what's called any options over here now. It will not have any options here. Only this is now an options future. So the options future will only have an options over here. The remaining will not have any options at all. Now let us now try to what happens? You go there, give a save, and then have a look at it now. Fine, click on the save and then click on test model. It will be coming over here now. Fine, click on OK now. It will now enable the pricing also. So the pricing also will be coming now. Fine, go there, 98. I will now put my pricing strategy over here now. And then enable the pricing and then click on OK now. <clears throat> so once we click on OK. You can now see the text feature, which is now having six characters in length is also going to come. Text feature is coming. So if you go on and put the seventh character, if I go there, give a tab now, it will not accept. Now say cheapo, the maximum is only limited to six characters. So what you can do is, you can even use it for what happens is choosing your items basically. Sometimes what happens is that people will be engraving their name on the desktop. So they will now ask to enter the name over here. And then that will also be taken into the, as a monogram. And then that monogram will be embedded onto your laptop actually. So we can even use those informations and then what happens, we can even try to do those now. Right? So that is the way in which what happens, the text feature is normally used. So apart from that, what happens, we can even use the other features to basically choose your items, whatever you want. Actually. Now here, what happens, I'm unable to what happens, write a rule for this, not find your class, not find, I'll not write your rule. Not find your. Here, text features will not be uh, what happens, allowed for what happens, your, uh, uh, component selection actually that is not possible and then go there so let us now go to the rules and then i will not write a writer rule now fine go there and i think it's possible but i'm not exactly sure about how to rule it, write it now. so i have a directory here below which what happens is let me create a rule now fine click on it i will not get a statement rule over here now i will now say text rule one i will now take a copy of it now and then put a description now so we'll now say the rule is called what default and then such decision is a is a constraint actually the rule is going to be a constraint. Uh, I tried constraint is not working. Let me try what happens the default now fine, and then the search decision. Let us say 
I will not make it as a search decision. The rule class is basically a search decision. Fact, click on OK now. I'm not making it. Now, let us now write it now. Write the rule now. <coughs> go there. So here, what happens? You go and then go to the selection. Now, fact, click on the structure. Ex expand the structure and then select the item. Now, fact, the select on structure feature and then click on add now. So you keep a cursor over here before adding it now. Fine, go there. Click on plus now. You'll get the address. Fine, here, what happens? You go there and then I will not try to, what happens? I'll put a text now. Fine, go there. Uh, I will now say one, two, three, four, five, six. No, fine. Uh, uh, space and then what happens? I will now say equal to one, two, three, four, five, six, and then space. And then I will now put a logical operator implies now. I know that implies is not there. And then if this is not there, what happens? I will not try to select something on the structure actually. I go there. <clears throat> then I'll go to the gaming area. <clears throat> go there. I will now choose the joystick over here now. And select it and then keep a cursor over here and then what happens you again click on it and then click on plus now that get added so you know put a semicolon over here and click on it and then like to try to validate it now <clears throat> so it says what an error has found at line number one there is no valid expression with the signature text future is equal to integer actually right is that text future is going to integer so what exactly it means text future uh, uh, it's basically what uh, is a text feature test actually find the full name is a text feature test and then I know what exactly it means basically <clears throat> the signature text is equal to so and so uh, that's what it's saying I will not try to say it's a like you now find over there L -I -K -E, and then go there and then within quotes I will not try to put it now go there uh, I will not give validation now <clears throat> so here it is accepting it now like is accepted and go there click on save and then it does not test it now. So click on test now. So we're going to test it now. Enable the pressing click on OK now. Again, it's giving some warning now. Find the model compilation has completed with the errors actually. We want to continue the following text feature, text rule one in invalid arguments is what it's saying. Find for the string functions like uh, the invalid argument. And go there. If I put one, two, three, four, five, six, what happens? The joystick has to be selected. Fine, go there. One, two, three, four, five, six, and go down. And then you will see the joystick is not selected actually. It is not selected actually. So when I put this one, it has to get selected. It's not selected. So that means there is some some problem there. Fine, click on cancel. <clears throat> Your changes are not saved. Click on this one. Go there. Go there. <clears throat> now you can see that the error message is coming here. So that means what this is not, there is some error on this now. Fine, go there. Let us not delete this row now. I don't know how to write it actually. And because of which it's not coming up and go click on it on the So try to what happens improvise on rule writing actually. Fine. Rule writing is a very important one. So if you're able to write the rules properly, then what happens? It's excellent actually. So this completes the discussion on rules as well as structures. Now fine. There are five different structures. One is an option structures, the remaining are integer, and then a boolean, and then text, and etc. etc. Fine. There are four, five structures which we can make it as a supplemental structure. And then we can write rules to what happens, choose the components basically. That you see now. Now let us go to the user interface. So as of now, if you see what happens, everything comes in a vertical manner. I click on this model. You can now see what happens, everything comes in a, as a vertical model over here now. <clears throat> One below the other now. Now I want to come as what as a train actually. I want to make it as a train now. Fine. So let us know not like this now. Fine. Seven thousand uh, two three four five. Everything is coming one below the other. Let us now make it as a train actually. I'm going to cancel now. <clears throat> so here, what happens? You go to the user interfaces. You can click on the user interfaces, and then here I will now make one. If I click on plus now. Fine. I will now move on get a user interface. And go there. I will now say uh, step by step navigation. So I am now putting a step by step navigation over here. Now I go there, click on it now, and take out it now. Put on space now. And then here, if the UA template map is there, drop it down. And then let us now choose what step by step navigation. There is a single navigation is there. And then step by step, I will not say step by step navigation with the enhanced selection controls. I'm going to use it now. Find over there. So this is how what happens. I'm now making a user interface over here now. So click on save and close by which what happens? The user interface is now saved actually. And, go there. and then you go down further, and then here what happens? The running summary also will be given now. I go there, drop it down, and then I will now say running summary with the item description, quantity, and amount. As and when he selects it, what happens? It will not show you the description of the item as well as the quantity and the amount till now, whatever he has to pay that will be shown over here. So this is not done. I go there, click on. So click on save, and then let us now test the model now. I go there, click on test model. So step by step navigation is the user interface, and click on test model now. So in the test model, what happens? Don't use the default drop down, and then we are now create the new one now. User interface and choose it. 
and then here what happens click on okay it will now go step by step as such you click on it what happens it will now start to show me step by step over here now <clears throat> so here go there you know see it's the first one second one third one fourth one fifth one so here what happens we can even rename this now fine it is uh, actually coming from the description of this now fine go there so if the description is not clear what happens i can even rename it now fine you can cancel now fine whatever you want you can rename it actually fine go there so here if you go to this place now go there so here if you go to the design area fine in the overview we are in this now fine you go to the design area in the design area what happens it will not show you all the things fine 7001 7002 7003 7004 and 7005 all the five are shown over here now fine go there so here uh, I will now. What happens? It is now. Uh, I will now go to the mandatory option class, and then I will now edit it. Now, go there. Click on edit now. I go to edit it now. So once we edit it, what happens? You can now see the page caption is now coming. Find the orders. So I will now say. Uh, <clears throat> I will now say, Nana's mandatory option class. So give a meaningful information over here now. So that will be displayed over here. And the page caption has been modified now. If I click on OK now. So you choose the one and then click on this edit icon and then modify it now. And then click on save now. Fine. Now if you go there and then test the model, you can now see the names which you are given will be displayed over here. And not the item names or item description. And click on OK now. So this is how the user is going to see this now. Fine. So the second one is now shown as what? Not as mandatory option class. So likewise, what happens each and everything, we can customize it and then we can write it. And then now as of now, what happens? The item's description is now shown over here directly. So we can even uh, modify it to our own name by this. So go there. So now here, uh, uh, what I can do is uh, in the 7001 model, I'm in this place. What happens when I choose the regular desktop, I want a figure to come over here. So how the desktop is going to look like now. Fine, go there. So this I'm going to do it now. Fine, go there. Click on it. So let me add an image over there. Click on that now. You go down. And then here, what happens? You, you on the structure and the resources, we are in the structure actually. You go to the UA elements. And the UA elements, what happens? You go there. I will now add an image over here. Fine. I am now on the mandatory desktop option class, in which what happens? We have got not this one. I will now keep my cursor on the model now. In the model, what happens? The desktop package is coming now fine, for this one. So this is basically called a YCV uh, interface actually. What you see is what you get. So this is how it is going to look like. On the first one, what happens? These are the ones which are going to look like. So when you choose this regular desktop, what happens? I want to show an image over here. Fine, brother. So let us now go on and add an image. Fine, click on the image now. Fine, brother, now add it. Click on it. So one for the regular, click on plus now. So let us now add an image for this one. So click on choose the file now. I will not choose a file now and go, there, go to the configurator and then I have images now. So I will now use this regular desktop. I click on open now. <clears throat> so it's not done. Fine. Uh, and then uh, what happens? We can even say uh, reg dt. Fine. Go there. Uh, something I'm putting it now. Fine. Go there. All text is there. And go there. And, and then click on OK now. Fine. Go there. Click on OK. <clears throat> So once when I do it now, fine, it will be displayed over here. Now. Fine, go there. So I want this to be displayed after this now, not after the decimal features and then text feature. Fine, go there. Now what happens? It will be coming in the last now. Fine, you save now. So what happens? It will be the order of display now. Fine, desktop edges, all these things are fine. It will be coming in the bottom now. and go there. So click on test model now. So you can now see that uh, what happens? The image coming on the bottom for the customer actually. The customer when he's configuring it, what happens? You can now see this now. Fine, go there. So here, what I can do is I can even push it slightly right side now. Fine, brother. I will now push it slightly right side now and go there. Okay, cancel now. So for which what happens? Uh, uh, we have a cascading style sheet actually. Fine, with which what happens? I can do it now. We go there and then I go to the configurator now. Fine, brother. I have a positioning. I have one. Uh, what happens? Uh, I have one uh, uh, CSS uh, text actually. There are plenty of things are there. If you know cascading style sheet and all, what happens? We can position it in a beautiful manner now. Fine, go there. So I'm now putting it now. Fine, go there. Click on it now. So from the top it is 100, and then uh, what happens? It is the top is 10, and then left is 100 now. Fine. That way, what happens? You're going to position it now. Fine, go there. Click on it now. Now let us now go there. Edit this image now. Fine, go there. Go down. So we already have the image over there now. You click on the edit icon. In the edit icon. What happens? I will now put, put the inline style is a CSS style. They call it now. Fine, go there. So I'm now relative positioning it. So the top 10, but 10 pixels and then 100 pixels, click on OK now, fine. And then inline editing as we've done now, fine, go there. So now click on save, <coughs> click on save, and then test the model, and click on test the model. So once when you test the model, what happens, you can now see that it will be displaced. It will not be coming the same fashion now, fine, go there. So now what happens, it's now slightly shifted now, fine, in the left, what happens. Now I will now shift it by two, uh, 300 pixels now, fine, go there, click on cancel now. So it's now slightly shifted now, fine, let us now go and then do it slightly more now and go there click on edit now 
So instead of 100, what happens? You can even do a lot of things on this now. If you know CSS, what happens? You can do a lot of things now. I, know that. I will now make it as 300 now. You'll now see where exactly it is now getting left 300. I click on OK now. We are now pushing it, and then you can position the images at where you go. Now, here itself, what happens? It's not showing you. Here itself, it's not showing you. I know that it has now come to this place now. I click on save now. <clears throat> and then let me test the model. Here, what happens? You can now see, and then it will be positioned over there. So it is far let now here and then here what happens now come over here. It now also shows you where exactly there is now fine go there. Now I want to show this below the desktop packages. Now fine go there for which what happens you can now move it up now fine go there. So we'll now move it up. Fine go there. I will now move up. It will now come what happens in the top now fine. It will now come to the top now. So I will now say not uh, uh, move down now to one. Oh God, it goes move up or down only. Find the total one. I don't know how to do it step by step. Now, fine, go there. This I will now edit and then I will not try to move down now. Fine, go there. Click on it. So, let me move down now. We can then only move up actually. Fine, we don't have any move down over here now. So, likewise, what happens? We can very well position all these things whatever you want. Uh, I don't know why it is not having the move down now. Fine. If you go to the Boolean expression and then click on this arrow mark. And then let us now say I, here it is now having a boolean, boolean, boolean expression now coming down, and then here only one step it is now coming down, not beyond this now. Right? Maybe in this place only you can do it. So likewise, what happens? We can even all the questionnaire which are doing it. What happens? We can very well do it now. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is I will not display this only when the regular is selected now, right? on this place. If you select the regular desktop, then what happens? I have to select now. Right? What happens? So go there, click on it. So let me do and then click on it, and then here what happens? Go there. And then here, displayed is always now. Fine, go there. I will now drop it down. I will now make it as conditional. Click on the conditional. Click. Displayed is now conditional now. Then go there. And then here, I will now choose this as what other mode, other model node now. Object is other model node now. And then here, drop it down and then choose the regular desktop now. I click on it now. Let us now choose the regular desktop. Fine, go there. Under the desktop packages, what happens to the regular desktop? Go there. The regular desktop. So this is what I'm choosing it now. Fine, go there. And then click on OK on this now. <clears throat> click on OK. I am now choosing the regular desktop. Or this now, click on OK now. So the complete path will be coming up over here now. Fine, go there. What else? And then the attribute of this is what? You go there. If you go and then go there, selection state. And then selection state is what selected. So only when this object is selected, then what happens? It will be displayed here. Click on OK. Otherwise, it will not display. Click on OK. It is not done. So let us go there and check up this now. Fine, go there. Click on it. Check it now. Click on save now. And then let us test the model now. Click on this model. <clears throat> go there. Click on OK now. We are testing it now. So now what happens, it has to come only when the regular is selected now. Fine, go there. I don't know why it's coming as such. It should not come as such. Fine, because nothing is selected actually. If you go and then select the business desktop, what happens, it's not short now. Fine, only when the regular is selected, it has to come now. There is some mistake somewhere. Fine, go there. Click on cancel, I will again make a verification of this. Fine, go, there. It should not come. <clears throat> go down. And then here I will not edit it now. Fine. Uh, what it did is now, <clears throat> oh, I have edited the Boolean one. And not this has to be edited here now. So I, I made a Boolean one. So here, I, instead of editing this now, instead of editing this now, what happens? I edited that actually. So you can now see the Boolean one will not test it now. Fine, go there. Click on the Boolean one. Uh, click on OK now. I did the editing of the Boolean one actually. So Boolean is not visible at all here now. Fine. I don't know where it has gone now. Uh, the tick mark is there. I think probably it is not properly configured actually. <clears throat> because of which is not coming, it is not fine. There may be there not be any rule at all. Fine. No rule is associated with this. So uh, now uh, remove that and then make it as always and then do it now. Fine. Go there. So the Boolean one, let me go there and then edit it now. <clears throat> Click on it. I will now make it as what? Uh, uh, what happens? Selection state. I will now go there. I will now make it as what? Con not conditional. It is always actually. This is not the one I had to correct. I had to correct this one. Fine. Go there. Click on it. So let me correct it. Now. So this, is, this control is here now. So click on it now and then let me do it. Then go there. I will now say conditionally <coughs> go there, other model node. Then click on it now. <coughs> I will now choose the regular desktop. Click on OK. And then here, uh, this is what the selection state. And then here, it is equal to what equal selector. From click on OK now. Now this will work now. And go there. See it now. Click on save now. And then click on test model now. So we don't make a test topic now. Go there, so click on it, and then here, what I will say, no, say regular desktop, then it's coming. If you choose what, uh, some other desktop, it will not be coming. Oh, God, it is coming to each and everything. One second, 
giving the stop is not coming. So we can even choose the other one fine. Let us now, uh, I will now put, uh, make one more figure for this. Uh, what happens? Uh, this one now, fine, go there. So let me add one more figure now. I'm going to go to the image and then click on plus now. Let me add one more figure now. Go there. Choose the file now. Uh, I will now put this girl over there. Now. Click on OK now. Go there. <clears throat> and then I will now say, this display is not always conditionally. I will now say it's other node. You can go there. <clears throat> and then put the model over here now. And then I will now choose what desktop I can do. I will now make it the business desktop now. Let's put the business desktop. And then click on OK now. So here the object is for selected status, selected status, and that is selected. And the input select. You know, okay now. I think we have to save or something like that. Because of which one I'm not having. Fine. We have to save now. And then save and close, and then again come back now. Save and close now. Again open it up now. <clears throat> so open it up and then test the model with our step by step navigation now, and not the default navigation, step by step navigation. And then enable the pricing now. And then here go there. Ninety eight. Now put the ninety. Click on it. Okay, no. <clears throat> it's not coming. I go there and then I tell it the business desktop. The girl's figure has to come fine. It's not coming. Come on. No, he's coming here. He's coming here. So he's coming here now. If you go there, go for the regular one that goes away. This also has to go away now. I don't know why it's not going away. And there is some mistake somewhere because of which what happens is not dying. Fine, try to make uh, the appropriate one. And so what happens? It has to go there. I don't know, make a check of it again. And then I will just stop now. <clears throat> so here uh, I will now go to the user interface and then I will now go to the design now. On the design part, I am in the model actually. I will go there. So I think uh, probably somewhere for this one, uh, this is the control, I think. This must be the control. So click on edit now. I will have a look at the control now. Uh, position I have given now. Well, let me remove the position of it. I don't know because of which it's not coming. I'm not sure, but it conditionally. And the other model node is wrong. And there is a mistake now. So we can even undo it and then see that I'm going to undo it now. <laughs> let me take a, undo it now. I'm take a copy of it now. And then I have now made a wrong selection over there now. I'm not putting on this place. I'm going to make it as well. 400 now. <clears throat> and then this is a wrong now. Actually. It is not properly come over here now. Fine, click on it now. So I have to go and, then, and make it as a regular one now. And select it like this now, and then go there and make it on OK. So here it's a selection state now, and then drop it down and then choose the selection state now. And then there's an equal to select if I click on OK now. And now everything is correct now. And then go there and then test it now. Save it and test it now. Click on test model. And then the step by step navigation is now coming automatically. So go there. Now, what happens? You should not give any figure at all in this place. Go there. So there should not be any figure at all. Fine. Nothing is coming. So if you go and then select the business to stop, what happens? It will not show you the figure. And then you can even position this accordingly in this place. And then go there and then make it as a regular to stop. You can also stop. It's not coming. Okay. Now, when he selects it, what happens? We have to inform him that what happens? He has selected the regular desktop. So we can even put a text image also along with this one. Okay. I cancel now. I'll now put a text image also along with this one. Click on it. So we'll now put a text image also. This one. So go there. And then in the UA elements, let us now add a text element. I will now add a text image. Click on plus now. <clears throat> I will now say you have selected a regular desktop. So you have selected a desktop and go there. And then click on it and then I will now make conditionally now. And go there, click on it now. And then again, other model node. <clears throat> and then here, click on it. And then choose the appropriate one now. So he expanded it now. And then there's a regular desktop now. And click on it now. So this is what I click on OK. <clears throat> it's not done. And then this is not status. I have to make it as what? Status is selected. The selection state is what selected. There are so many attributes are there. Try to experiment on all those things now. I have not shown you but where exactly do it now. And then click on OK. So this is a conditional display basically. You have selected a regular desktop is not coming. So you go there and then test it now. I click on save and then test it. So click on test mode. So we're going to test it now. Click on it. <clears throat> so here, once when you have a look at it now, is a step-by-step -step navigation actually, not the default one. I go there. So the moment I select the regular desktop, what happens? It will not say the figure as well as what happens. It now says you have selected the regular desktop. This message is also So you can conveniently position all these things at the appropriate place. Fine. This is a really a slightly difficult task 
but it is a one time exercise and so what happens you can even position them at the appropriate place and then what happens you can do it and go there and then if you choose the business one i have not configured any text and so what happens the text will vanish now and you can click on it if you go and then choose the business one the, the the business girl will be coming but what happens not the text exercise so this is the way we can put the appropriate text as well as this one now uh, let us say that if you are going to go for a regular desktop in this place what happens if you go to the what's called the camera options in the regular desktop let us say we are not going to give both the cameras basically only on a business or a gaming desktop will be giving it now so we will now disable this basically this has to be this has to be disabled now fine we are going to disable it now so if regular is selected on this if you select the regular what happens you can do it these are all guided selling actually you give a cancel now let us now disable the cameras basically if the regular desktop is now shown to you click on this now now for which what happens you have to go to what in the design area uh, you you go there and then here what happens you choose the gaming area now fine go there so if you go to the what's called the camera area and click on the camera all the cameras will be shown over here now whatever is there on the particular uh, what happens your structure actually it will be shown over here now and then here what happens i'm going to disable it what happens uh, if you go there click on it now fine go there and then i will now edit it now <clears throat> i will not say what happens it is not going to be displayed always no fine it is going to be displayed conditionally fine go there i will not choose the other other node if regular is selected it should not be displayed actually fine go there click on it no fine go there in the other node you go there in the other node you go there <coughs> you can now choose the regular one no fine go there regular one i am choosing it now click on okay no so the regular is now chosen no fine go there it is not coming exactly so there is a reason that last time i made a mistake no fine go there the regular is not getting selected actually fine go there no so, So let me select the regular now. It is not selected, and then go down. Click on OK. You see the regular is coming. Now. The regular is coming. Now. Fine. Attribute is what I will not say negated actually. Fine. Uh, a regular. What happens? Selection state. I will not say selection state is equal to false. Then go there. So if it is equal to what uh, it is, it does not equal. I will not say not equal. Does not equal, and then does not equal to selected actually. so if it is does not equal to selected then only you display it otherwise don't display it fine there are plenty of combinations are there so many things are there just make an orandi if it is not selected does not equal to means what is not selected then only it will display if you are selecting it it will not it will display it and go there go this is not equal to fine go there click on okay uh, i have no given uh, is not selected now fine regular is not selected this is what and go there click on save now i will not make a test of it and then click on this small one <clears throat> Click on OK. There are plenty of combinations are there. You have to only sit and see how many ways you can do it now. Fine, go there. Now, if you go to the camera options, what happens? You cannot see both are shown over here. Now, fine, both options are shown here. I go to the test model and then let me choose the regular over here now. Go there, click on it and then let me choose the regular now. So the moment I choose the regular, what happens? You cannot see the what's called the figure. Figure also or even something uh, it is not coming. Fine, figure is also coming. The text also will be coming there. Fine, go there. You have to select the slot. If you go to the camera, what happens? You cannot see camera will be not be displayed at all. so this option is not removed actually similarly this header itself we can also remove fine we can even remove the header so there are so many such permutations combinations are available here by which whatever they can now configure this figures basically click on this now so this is on the text and image and then spacer we can add it at the appropriate place now fine so what happens you can even give a space between these two things now i will not add a space and now fine click on it i will not add a space and now and then you can even give sufficient space basis now fine which is now height i will not say let us say 25 now 25 is the height of a space now fine go there the inline steel by which what happens again once positioned it now basically i will not say always now fine click on okay now fine go there click on it so the spacer is coming now fine go there click on it now where exactly it is coming now <clears throat> the spacer <clears throat> and then the spacer can be pushed up and down as well fine go there is a regular to stop the model so this may be the spacer i think fine go there click on it now fine go there is a collapse thing now you know collapse it ah uh, where exactly it is now somewhere we can specify the spaces basically and then uh, finally what happens you can even uh, what happens uh, push it up and down so there what happens sufficient space can be uh, given between two these two nodes basically then self the request out then go the click on edit now and we'll see there is a space or not uh, is the one uh, associated model of angle this is the one so because now width and height is coming now basically so how to push it now find the other one <clears throat> we go there let me push it up now find the other one push it up So it is now above this one now. Fine, go there. So you can now see that this is the one. Fine, click on above now. <clears throat> so somewhere it has come now. Fine, go there. Let us now see where exactly the spacer is coming. Fine, click on save now. So click on test model. So the spacer can also be 
whatever is the appropriate, appropriate, the appropriate height. Some space can be given for visualization, basically. Again, what happens? The working will be somewhat difficult. Nothing goes that is not visible anywhere. I want to put it into the text and decimal. Nothing text and decimal feature. Let me do it. Nothing goes that you can't. Text and decimal. I will not try to put the space in. So here, identifying the space itself is very difficult actually. The one. So select the page. Click on edit now. You see the edit. And this is not the one. I go up now. Somewhere the spacer is there. Hey, this one. No, no, this is a what's called it? This thing now. Ah, where exactly it is now? Click on it now. The one or click on edit now. No, this is not the one. <laughs> so somewhere it has gone actually. We have to very properly do it now. So you can even put a space between some of the places and then afterwards what happens, you can even do this. So the text image space and do it now. Iframe, I don't know what exactly it is not fine by which what happens. Can do. So this is the very many ways by which what happens, the display things can be very beautifully designed actually. If you want, you can even insert a new page also. If you feel like what happens, you can even insert a new what happens, a display page is like, and go there. You keep say, after the mandatory one, you want to have what happens, one more page over there. Fine, go there. Click on it, no, add a page. I will, not add a page. I will not say what happens. Uh, just additional page. And, go there. and the page caption also what happens. <clears throat> Nana's additional page. Additional page. And then I can even leave the template as nothing to find okay, no, which what happens. An additional page will be created after this. After the mandatory clause is not created. And then here you can even add some elements for the page. Now find go there. Click on it now. So I'm going to add on the structure. What happens? Let me add the page now. Find go there. So click on add. And then what happens as a page item, I had to add it now. Fine, go there. So I will not add it as a page item. Fine, go there. I will not put the desktop package itself as a no select them and add it as a page item. Fine, that will be added again. So we can even add any of the page items. I remember only from the structure we can choose it now and not from the display view also. In the structure I can use it now. I click on save now and then let us not test it now. Fine, go there. Click on test. Now. So click on test model now. <clears throat> so click on OK now. We are testing it. So once when you test it, what happens? One more extra page will be coming. Now, as additional page is coming, if you click on it, what happens? It will show whatever I have chosen. The desktop package has been chosen. So, the entire visualization can be very nicely adjusted using this method, actually. So, this completes the configuration, actually. Fine. So, again, I will know uh, before rounding it up, what happens? I cannot say, I can go on them. In the structure, all the optional classes will be coming. Apart from that, what happens? We have five additional supplemental structures can be as what as an, as an options feature or otherwise what happens as an integer feature or a decimal feature or a boolean feature or a text feature and then they can used they can be used by you to control the selections actually and then what happens the customer can very well override the defaults also fine you can even uh, choose it for those things and then that will now give you a guided setting so you have to think uh, make a lot of thought process and then see how many additional uh, uh, structures are required so those things you can create and then you can then write the rules for all those things now fine uh, whichever way you want you can even very well write the rules now go there and then write the rules you can even put the rules on appropriate what happens the directory so that what happens you can even go to the rules in the very fast actually you create multiple directories and then afterwards what happens you can do it and remember the rules will work only on the structure actually structure components only it will work now. fine not not on the display properties not on the displays one we cannot write a rule but only for the structure elements we can write a rule actually then afterwards you go to the user interface and then there what happens you got plenty of things are there I'm fine with that. so we have got in the ua elements we can add so many images and then we can conditionally display them basically and then uh, every page will now show this as a ycv get it how it's going to look like now and then you can even add a space and they can even push it down and then uh, do all these things you can do it and then uh, what happens it will be displayed in a very appropriate manner in the fashion you want it now. images can be pushed from left right everything what happens you can now position it appropriately and then do it now so any questions on this now fine this is what the configurator is now fine with that so we have completed all the configuration on this now fine with that give us even close so once when you complete the configurator what happens we have to release it for production actually and go there so you keep a cursor on this now fine with that so everything is completed uh, and then what happens you go there and then click on release now fine here the bottom what happens is a release and really generated generate pre-release report not required now fine with that click on release now so click on select it and then click on release now Fine. 7001 is now going to be released. Fine. Click on release now. We are going to release it now. So the workspace will be released with an effective start date of so and so. What happens at 1632 hours now? Fine. Go there. Uh, it is uh, 1632 hours now. Fine. Is a current time actually. Fine. Click on this. <clears throat> Otherwise, we have to adjust the timing also. Fine. Go there. Click on it now. And that's it. So what happens here? Concurrent is now running for releasing it now. Fine. Go there. 
948 concurrent is running. Let us now go there and then have a look at it. So take all of it and then go there. And then click on it now. And, paste it over there and, it <clears throat> and then have a look at the concurrent now. So go there. And then here, you go and then look at the thing. So this is nothing but an introduction to uh, the configurator. Now what happens if these things you have to uh, study and then what happens if you have to enhance your this thing. And then, so what happens if this workspace has now succeeded actually. Okay now. <clears throat> you know that. So if you refresh it, you can now see what happens. Snapshot changes feature. Thank you for refresh it. <clears throat> so it's now released actually. The status is now released. Initially, what happens? I know it will be in development actually. Now it is released actually. So if you go there and then choose the model now, fine, click on done now. And then have a look at the model now. Click on it. So you go there and then go to the manage models and then have a look at it now. 7001, I'm going to make a query now. Go there. So click on search now. So let me go right now. You can now see what happens. So 1.0 version is now released actually. So initially 0.0, .0 has come as a snapshot from the what happens the product, and then now 1.0 is coming. So this will be basically used for your what happens to your uh, uh, sales order. Find that. So let us now go there and then try to populate this on the sales order and see this now. Find that. It's now released actually. Click on it. Click on that. And then let us now go there. Click on it. Click on it. And then let us now put it on the sales order. Click on it. And then here I go there. <coughs> I will be putting it on the sales order. Go to the order management. And then go and create the order now. So click on the customer fine. It's 98 underscore. I'll now put the customer over here now. Click on it. And then I will now put the model 7001 over here now. Find your tab now. So you can now see I have given a price of zero. I have forgotten to tell you. Fine. I have already given a price of zero actually. Fine. Then only it is coming. Otherwise, we can even give a standard price on this now. Fine. If you don't give a price, what happens? It will not work at all on the pricing. You have to give the price now. Click on the configure to add, configure and add. <clears throat> You go there. It comes as vertical only. I don't know why the step by step navigation is not coming. It has to come as a step by step navigation now. But that is only on the UA interface area. Uh, I have a doubt on this. I don't know how to do that. There it is coming, but here it is not coming as such now. Uh, now, since it is released, we cannot uh, what happens to do an editing on this now. So it is now saved there, and then what happens here? Now come out of it now. I don't know how to make it as such. Now. Just make a check of it now. So it has go, and then you'll now choose this component. If I go there and then choose this component, fine. And then these are the mandatory ones. So I click on finish. That has been released for production. Maybe I think I may have to do a collection. I think if you do a perform a collection, probably it will be coming into this area now. Fine. So let us now perform a collection now. Fine. Click on cancel now. Because now it is not picking up from what happens your product model actually. And go there. So we have to perform a collection, I think. Thank you. Go there. And then let us now perform a collection. Go to the supply chain and then go to the plan inputs now. So the recently released model has to be collected actually. Thank you. And then go there. And then go to the collect planning data. <clears throat> and then you drop it down and go there. Drop it down. And then there, here, what happens? You go there. Go to the items and then bring it to the item side now. Item structures also. Go to the item structures and then definitions. So let us know what definitions. All these things will be collected now. Find out so this has been recently made on this now. And go there. Click on submit now. So let us know. Submit. So you know, giving a warning doesn't matter. Fine. It's okay. My net change is the one which you're doing it now. And now let us wait for this to complete now. And go there. Click on it now. Let us now wait for this to complete now. <clears throat> so once when it is completed, what happens? We'll now do a refresh and start order promising now for the items and then the structure now. So once when that is completed, what happens? You can now directly go and then put on the sales order. So let us see whether the configured product is now coming in the sales order now. Now it is now picked up from uh, what happens your uh, uh, I a PIM basically. In the PIM it has now picked up and not from the uh, what happens the released one actually on the config later. So you know working on let me pause the record now. I have a doubt on the timing actually of the release actually. And let us now say it actually maybe not be released now. So uh, now sufficient time has elapsed now. Fine. Let me sign out and then again sign in and then see now. Sign out and sign in. Whether the released product is now coming up for me for configuration. So 98 underscore EMP. Go there. 
Adam, let me log in now. <coughs> the time of release is also very important, actually. So we, the minute and seconds, it's not showing only in the minute, actually. So let us now go there and then create a sales order. Fine, go to the order management. And then click on it now. I can go to the create order now. Click on create order. <coughs> Go there. It's 98 underscore. So let me put my custom over here now. I'll now put the model over here now. Go there. So it's 7001 and then give a tag now. So click on configure and add. I have to get a train sort of a thing now. It's still coming as only the vertical one actually. And go there. So let us now continue with our collections actually and then see whether it comes up or not. It is not. So let me stop my recording now. So the final concurrence on the uh, data collection is what? The worker release stage data. So they're running. So once when that is completed, whatever they go there. And then let us now run the refresh and start or to listen server. Refresh and start. So click on it now, click on start search now. <coughs> Select them and click on OK now. So click on OK. And then let us now do this now. This is for the items actually. If I move there, this is the items and structures. So I will not choose the items now. Find refreshing and then resources. I will not choose what else we are not. Routings is not there. Routings also. I can choose it now. Uh, you go there. Customers sourcing items of students, ADV rules, fulfillment lines, work orders on and so okay, nothing else. Like that. So hopefully, what happens once when this is completed. Uh, it must be in a position to what happens. Uh, show me the train sort of a thing, which is the configurator's output now. Fine. I have a doubt on the timing basically. Fine. That, uh, it's not showing you some timing. So the timing only after the time, what happens? It will be eligible for what happens. Uh, putting it on the sales order actually. There is no working point. Only three concurrents are running on this now. The first two are completed. Go ahead, click on it. The third one is going to begin now. Fine. It's not running. Now, since they are completed when open by time, I do go there, we'll be in a position to see it now. I will click on it now. I will not open up the order management now. <clears throat> so click on order management. So click on create order now. So let me put 98 underscore. And then let me put the item over here now. Tab it out and I click on configure to add now. It's still not coming. So this may be a timing problem basically. Uh, the time I have not seen exactly, it's not showing you some uh, 1432, uh, what exactly the time, I'm not sure about it. Fine. Uh, from that time onwards, it will be released actually. And go there. Let us now go on and have a look at this uh, area now. I'm click on it now. So uh, you go there, go to the product management, and then go to the product information management, or the configured tools. And then let us now see the time of this release. So, effective start date, if I go there, that's okay. 24 12 19 actually. Oh god, it's got a very huge timing. Basically, if I do one, uh, where is mine? Oh, my workspace itself is not visible actually. If I go there, click on it. Find 7001 of the workspace now. I click on it. 7001 is a workspace. Let me go and then query it now. So manage workspaces now. So 7001 and then entering now. So the workspace is coming when it was released. So creation date is what? 2119. The workspace was created yesterday actually. The effective start date is what? 91. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is now causing this problem actually. We will not try to irrigate now. And go there. So let us edit it now. Effective start date. Nine one is now there. Go there. I will now make it as a two one and then put it now and go there. So that's why what happens when it gives a date, 1632. I was looking at it, but what happens? It is now going to be affected only after this date. That is the reason what happens is not doing now and go there. So uh, so we have to change it now and you know uh, eligible only for this now. It's not allowing me to change it now. We will never edit it actually. And go there. So here uh, I will now again I click on the workspace attributes now. We will see whether we can re-release it now. We'll now make some changes and then try to release it now. 
So I will now make some changes over there. Open with click on it. Uh, let me remove one of the open with the gaming desktop. Let me remove it. Open with the click on it. And then here, uh, see here, there is no edit control at all. So the edit controls are not available because it's already released and so whatever. We cannot make any changes to this at all. No edit controls is coming. I click on them. Now what happens? I will now have to uh, copy this into some other thing and then what happens? I will Fine. Let us now go on and create another workspace now. I click on that now. So let me try to copy this. Into the model is now there. Fine. Go there. Click on it now. Are you recording it? Yeah, his recording is going on. Are you able to see the recording icon there in the top? No. You able to see the recording icon? Fine. Go there. Recording icon is going on. Huh? <clears throat> the recording icon you can now see on the top now. From top left, you can see the recording icon. So click on the now. Fine. Since the release date is 9 1, what I will do is I will now try to make one more workspace. Here also, I'm also a learning man, and so what happens? I'm not a very big one. Fine, go there. Click on create another workspace now. Fine, go there. <clears throat> I will now say uh, Nana's workspace. Who now? Fine, go there. So let us now put it now. Fine, go there. Click on take a it now. Put it in the description. Now. <clears throat> and then effective start date. Fine, go there. I will now put third now, fine, go there. So the date must be on or after this now, fine, go there. I will now make a change to what happens there. Uh, 16 to what happens, 18th minute now, fine, go there. So two minutes extra, I'm now giving it now, fine, go there. Three, one on this now, fine, can see one close now. It must be future now, fine, go there. Now let us see, in this place, let us now add the workspace participant of this now, fine, go there. Click on it now. Let us now go there. And then go to actions, and then here, what happens, select and add. And then let me add the models now, not the snapshots now, fine, click on the models now. Click on the models now. So go there, 7001, one second, 7001, query. click on search now. It shows you a model now, fine, go there. Include all reference models, include updated item snapshots for models is what it's saying now. Uh, I will now choose the other one now, fine, go there, click on action now. And then go to set snapshots. And then here, what happens, uh, value set snapshots, item class snapshots. Oh God, I'm not sure about it. How to bring the other one now, fine. So let me take the item snapshots and then see now, fine, go to the item snapshots and 7001 now. So I want to bring in the 1.0 version over here now. I click on item snapshots. It doesn't show me the version actually. Fine. It has now said it's released. And then the last release date is what? Two of this thing. Fine. Well, that means what? Whenever the snapshot is taken, it is not showing you that release. Now. This is not the correct date. Go there, go to the actions and then go to select and add now. Models. So models, I will now choose the model only and then see what happens on this now. 7001, I'm putting it now. <clears throat> so click on search now. So select it and then include all reference models. And then include updated items and also I'll put a tick mark on this one. Then click on apply and then click on okay now. So you has as a released version for that, what happens it become active on that becomes effective on or after the effective start date of this workspace. It can be added for testing, but cannot be released for this date. So uh, it's now saying something now. Fine go there. I'm not able to fully understand it now. Fine, click on this now. <clears throat> Try in this lesson in this way. Uh, what happens? No done, fine, go there. Uh, click on apply now. Click on OK now. <laughs> so it will all come now fine. All the components, everything is now coming up along with this. So I won't have this model actually. Fine, go there. Let me edit the model. Fine, go there. Click on model now. So if you go and then try to edit the model now, it now says a different effective charge study is after one week now basically. And go there. So it shows you only the bare minimum now, not the other one actually. Whatever you are configured is not coming actually. So this may not be the correct way of bringing it now. I have to bring that one and then make a release as such. So if you can bring that one and then make a release, then that will be excellent actually. We'll now again try about how to do that now. Uh, I will now click on that now, fine. <clears throat> and then here, one the workspace to that. Fine. Can I delete it or I cannot delete it? And I'll go and then create only a new one now. So click on done now. So in the 7000 workspace, Fine. How to push it into this place? Fine. Go to the, go to the manage, uh, manage snapshots. Fine. Click on the manage snapshots and then put it now. So 7001 now. And then click on search now. Fine. 1.0 is a version, uh, is a model actually. And manage snapshots is not showing me the model now. I will not manage the models. I will not go to the manage models now. Fine. Go there. Click on it. So let me go to the manage models now. <clears throat> 7001. Let us now query it now. 7001. Click on search now. So here, the 1.0 version is there. Fine, click on it now. Fine. Underscore the 1.0 is the latest version. Now, fine, go there and us. And then, uh, how to do this now? Fine, I wanted to. What happens? The 1.0, I want to push it into another workspace, basically. The 1.0 is already released from 9th, basically. 
so that i have to push it anybody has got any ideas on this now just see. so click on this workspace itself right? there is a, uh, a hyperlink on the 1.0 there is a hyperlink on the 7001 workspace now if you click on the hyperlink on the 1001 workspace you will see what happens now. so go there it shows you the model now and click on edit model now clear filters there you know the clear filter now go there 7001 is there and then if you click on it what happens you cannot edit it actually the edit controls are gone now and you can only test it actually nothing can be done so uh, in the doc mode it is written that what happens is we can even push it into some other workspace and then what happens is do a further editing and then play the 2.0 version actually and that is what it is written now but i have not gone through the doc mode in a very clear manner now. so if you click on edit now the controls and the header control what happens if you click on edit now so here the effective start date cannot be edited now if we can edit it will be excellent actually fine i have not seen that command when it is coming what happens i don't send it now fine because i can't send it post now so click on done now <clears throat> so that may be the what happens the one which is causing this problem actually so 1.0 so effective start date is 91 actually that i have not seen i have now seen i was only looking at the 16 32 minutes basically but the date i have forgotten to say this so if you can do the release exactly what happens whatever you configured can be seen on the sales order actually you can see that on the sales order so this completes what the basic uh, what happens the coverage on the configurator actually any questions on this now fine try to improvise on all those things so that what happens you will be in a position to what happens understand it in a very clear manner actually Okay, now fine. So the the discussion on the configurator is now complete. Thank you. Fine.